So in the education world, sometimes it takes just one parent or one student to validate what we do. So thank you, Ms. Evans, and thank you, Katrina. Um, I'd like to thank Twin Rivers Unified School District for giving me this humble opportunity and experience. Martin Luther, Jun Martin Luther King Jr. Technology Academy for recognizing what I do, recognizing my dedication and my commitment to the community, the students, to everybody. Um, I couldn't have made a better decision when I chose Martin Luther King. Some people said, why would you go work there? Um, that's a tough school, but it was a perfect fit for me. I felt like it was like a, a O.J. Simpson. Hand went in the glove. <laughs> Sorry for those who get offended by that. <laughs> My family has always supported me. They've been proud of me no matter what I've done in teaching. My, my family is very involved in my classroom, so that's also a good thing when you talk about community and family support. I would like to thank my paraeducators who are, they complete my team. There's just nothing I can do by myself. There's nothing we can do as teachers by ourselves. So when you have that team, you stick with that team. I'd like to thank my friends. Um, they've been there to support me also when there's been hard days, people I can talk to. One friend in particular, um, before I started teaching, said, hey, there's a job I can get for you. You don't work weekends or holidays. I said, sign me up. <laughs> I didn't become a teacher to gain personal recognition, acknowledgement, or rewards, but every now and then you get an unexpected pat on your back, and it just makes everything worth it. Being recognized as Teacher of the Year for Twin Rivers Unified School District was definitely that pat on the back. Today's challenges of the challenges of today's diverse classrooms for many teachers is attempting to respond to the increasingly broad spectrum of student needs, backgrounds, and learning styles. Most, if not all, students need someone who cares about the academics as well as understand what they're going through without judgment. I have to admit, any, entering the teaching profession was not my first choice, but definitely it was the best choice. I always had a passion for working with kids, coaching, mentoring, hanging out with them just to kind of see what they're talking about, just to kind of catch up on the new phrases and the new dances. <laughs> to have the capability of making a positive impact on our future leaders of today is a feeling I definitely cannot explain. If you're an educator and you definitely understand what I'm talking about. Some days you leave, you go home, and you just take that, ah, you know what I'm talking about. I had a student once tell me that the reason he wasn't doing well in school is because um, the teacher's expectations were too high. So I had to really stop and take a think about like, our expectations too high? Like, what are we supposed to do? We're teachers. So I let this student know that we, we all have expectations of something or someone. You have to have expectations to be able to achieve things. So I also let this student know that my job is to help you challenge those expectations and then surpass those expectations. Student achievement is what we all look to do. To be knowledgeable about a subject you teach is one thing, but having the ability to communicate, motivate, inspire, and understand something is something else. If you reach one, you can teach one, and I will continue to encourage and support student success at all levels, be it at school or at life. I would like to end this quote by the late Malcolm X. The future belongs to those who prepare for it today. Thank you.